A long time ago, I was a law enforcement officer eagerly waiting for my turn to apply for the position of detective. I had worked hard to get to this point and I was determined to prove myself, but little did I know, my chance to prove myself would come in the form of a case that would change my life forever. One day, I was assigned to help investigate a string of burglaries that had been plaguing a local neighborhood. At first, I was excited for the opportunity, but as I began my investigation, I quickly realized that this was not going to be an easy case. The first obstacle I faced was a lack of leads. The burglaries had been happening at night, and there were no witnesses or surveillance footage that could help identify the perpetrator. I knew that solving this case would be a major challenge, but I was determined to succeed. I spent countless hours canvassing the neighborhood, talking to residents and gathering information. I scoured through the crime scenes, looking for any clues that might have been left behind. Despite my efforts, however, I was not making much progress. It was like every hour, everything I had worked for was gone and I had to start over again. As the days turned into weeks, and the weeks turned into months, I realized that this case was not just a test of my detective skills, but a test of my willpower and determination. I was determined to solve this case, but the more I dug, the more I realized that there was something sinister at play. I started to notice strange patterns and coincidences, like the case would restart randomly for no apparent reason. It was like someone or something was manipulating time, making it impossible for me to solve the case. The case had become a personal obsession and I couldn't shake off the feeling that I was being watched, and that the burglaries were connected to something much bigger and more sinister. I couldn't help but wonder if I would ever find the answers I was looking for, and if I would ever be able to solve this case and prove myself as a detective. I received a tip from a resident who had seen a suspicious person in the area on the night of the last burglary. With this new lead, I was able to track down and arrest the perpetrator, who turned out to be a local teenager with a history of petty crime. The strange thing is, I remember this moment as if it had happened before, like a deja vu moment. At first, I thought it was just a strange coincidence, but as the days went on and the loop continued, I realized that something was seriously wrong. It was like this moment had happened over and over again, and I couldn't shake off the feeling that I was stuck in some sort of time loop. I started to question my own sanity, wondering if I was losing my mind or if there was something more sinister at play. The arrest of the perpetrator felt like a small victory, but it also left me with more questions than answers. I couldn't help but wonder if this was just the tip of the iceberg, and if there was something bigger and more dangerous lurking just out of my reach. I was completely alone in this strange and terrifying experience. My days were spent investigating the same case over and over again, never making any progress. I tried everything I could think of to break the cycle, but nothing worked. My colleagues and superiors thought I was crazy when I explained what was happening to me, but they couldn't understand. The longer I was stuck in this time loop, the more it took a toll on me both physically and mentally. I became sleep deprived, and I hadn't seen my family or friends for who knows how long now. I was losing my grip on reality, and I couldn't see a way out of this nightmare. As I struggled to understand what was happening to me, I started to notice a strange pattern. Every time I looked at a clock, the day would start over again, and I would be back at square one in my office starting my investigation. I couldn't understand why this was happening, and it only added to my confusion and despair. I began to question my own sanity, wondering if I was going mad. I started to fear that I would be stuck in this loop forever, never making any progress and never solving the case. I felt trapped and helpless, unable to escape this never-ending cycle of time. To everyone else, it was just the start of a new day. I couldn't help but wonder if there was some sort of supernatural force at play, manipulating time and keeping me trapped in this loop. I was desperate to find answers and a way out, but the more I searched, the more hopeless the situation seemed. As the days turned into weeks, and the weeks turned into months, I had come to accept that this was my new reality. I was resigned to living in this endless cycle of time, reliving the same day over and over again. Each time I looked at the time or ever heard what time it was, the day would reset and it was like nothing ever happened. Years have passed for me, but the day has never begun for anyone around me. I was stuck in an endless time loop, constantly reliving the same day, never able to make any progress or move on with my life. I had given up hope of ever breaking free from this time loop, but then one day, something strange happened. I was working on the case and I found a clue that I had never seen before. I followed the lead and finally, there was a glimpse of hope. I received a visit from a man claiming to be a cop from the future. He told me that he had been sent back in time to stop a criminal organization that had grown too powerful in the future. He revealed to me that I had somehow become entangled in their web of crime, and that I was a key figure in their operations. I was shocked and confused. I really didn't believe him, but I figured if this was happening to me, then maybe there was truth to what he was saying. I couldn't understand how I could have gotten involved with such a dangerous organization. I was a law enforcement officer, sworn to uphold the law and protect the community and now I was being accused of being a criminal in the future. This was a nightmare, I couldn't believe that I was capable of committing such heinous crimes. But as the cop from the future began to share personal details of my life and thoughts I have had that I never remember speaking to anyone about, it all started to make sense. I was horrified to learn of the extent of my future crimes, and my role in the criminal organization. In the future, I had become disillusioned and desperate to escape my time loop. I had turned to the criminal organization, thinking they could help me. But instead, 
I had unknowingly become a pawn in their game, and my actions had helped them to grow even more powerful. I had become one of the most notorious and feared criminals of the future, and my name was synonymous with crime and corruption. The cop from the future told me that he had been sent back in time to stop this from happening, and that I was the key to stopping the organization. As he was attempting to arrest me to try me for my future crimes, I knew that I couldn't let him take me in. I had to escape. I had to quickly act on an idea I had. I looked at the watch on his wrist and suddenly the day started over again. I was back in my office once again, being handed the file to start this case from the beginning. I knew that I had to be more careful this time around. I couldn't let the cop from the future catch me again, and I had to find a way to stop the organization before it was too late. I started to gather information and evidence, trying to find a way to stop the organization and the cop from the future. As I sat there, feeling a sense of relief and accomplishment, I realized that I had never asked the cop from the future his name, and he had never told me. I was so focused on escaping and finding a way to stop him, that I had forgotten to ask such an important detail. I wondered who he was, and how he had found me in the first place. How would I find him before he found me again? I knew that I had to find out who he was and what his motivations were if I wanted to truly be free, and maybe stop my life from resetting. I started to investigate, trying to find out more about him and who hired him. I scoured through the records and files of the case, looking for any clues that might help me identify him. But despite my best efforts, I couldn't find any information about him. It was like he had never existed. How far in the future was he from? Was he going to always be one step ahead of me? And would he come for me again? It was a difficult and frustrating journey but I knew that I couldn't give up. I had to find out who he was and what his true intentions were if I wanted to truly be free. I began to realize that the criminal organization he was trying to take down was not just something I had inadvertently become involved in, but something I had built and led myself. The shock and disbelief were overwhelming as I realized the magnitude of my actions, and how far I had fallen. My actions had caused immeasurable damage to the community, to innocent people and to my own soul. Was I so trapped in the time loop, that I felt like I had no other way out and desperate to escape? I had turned to the criminal organization for help. But instead of finding a way out, had I unknowingly started something so terrible. I had become one of the most notorious and feared criminals of the future, and my name was synonymous with crime and corruption. I was disgusted with myself, I couldn't believe that I had become the very thing I had sworn to fight against. I had betrayed my oath as a law enforcement officer, my duty to protect and serve the community, and my own moral code. The weight of my actions felt heavy on my shoulders and I didn't know how to move forward and stop the evil that I would become. I soon understood that the cop from the future was using me to gather information and leads to take down the organization, and that every time I looked at the clock, a watch, heard the time or saw the time, it was him resetting my time, so I would forget everything and he could use me again to gather more information. I was trapped in a never-ending cycle of being used by the cop from the future for his own gain, and I knew I had to find a way out of his grasp. I couldn't stand the thought of being responsible for the crimes committed by the organization, and I couldn't bear the thought of living in this cycle forever. I began to gather information of my own trying to find a way to stop the cop from the future and put an end to the organization once and for all. I knew it wouldn't be easy, but I was determined to do whatever it takes to make things right. As I aged and spent years trying to figure out a way to break the time loop and stop the cop from the future, the world around me remained unchanged. My colleagues and loved ones stayed the same age, while I grew older and older. This was a disorienting and isolating experience, and I couldn't help but wonder if it would ever end. The longer I was stuck in this loop, the more I began to lose touch with reality. I was consumed by my quest to stop the cop from the future, and I couldn't shake off the feeling that I was running out of time. Each time I made progress, the day would reset and I would be back where I started, feeling like I had wasted years of my life for nothing. I started to question my own sanity and wondered if I was losing my mind. My colleagues were confused by my strange behavior, and I couldn't explain to them what was happening to me. I was plagued by doubts and fears, and I couldn't see a way out of this nightmare. I felt like I was living in a parallel world, where time stood still for everyone but me. I felt like a stranger in my own life, and I couldn't shake off the feeling that I was trapped in an endless cycle of despair. I felt like I was living in a state of constant desperation, and I couldn't help but wonder if I would ever escape this time loop and reclaim my life. I grew older and older, in the eyes of everyone around me, I was the same, but I was nearing the end of my lifespan. I never figured out what was happening, but I was never caught by the cop from the future. I had spent my entire life trying to stop him and the criminal organization, but in the end, I had failed. As I lay on my deathbed, I couldn't help but wonder what my legacy would be. Would my family and loved ones ever know what had happened to me? Would they ever know about the time loop and the cop from the future? Or would I be just another unsolved case, lost to the sands of time? As I closed my eyes for the last time, I felt a sense of regret and sadness. I knew that my quest to stop the cop from the future would continue on, even after my death. I could only imagine this was my destiny, and that the next person caught in the time loop would be able to find a way out. I woke up in a mental hospital, confused and disoriented. My mind was still trying to make sense of everything that had happened. I tried to explain to my family, colleagues, the doctors, and nurses what had happened to me, but they couldn't understand. They thought I had a mental breakdown, and being under a Baker Act was the best thing for me. 
Nobody could believe it. One day I left for work and within minutes, I turned crazy. I knew that no one would ever believe me, that they would think I was delusional, but I knew that it was all real. I didn't have much time left. I was growing older by the minute. There were no clocks in my room and it was against regulation to inform me of the time. The doctors and nurses thought it was for my own good, that not knowing the time would help me heal from my mental sickness. Little did they know, this was the end. I would never succeed in what I started many years ago. As I closed my eyes for the last time, I saw the cop from the future. He was dressed in a white coat, impersonating a doctor. I couldn't believe it. He had found me. Was this the end, or was there more in store for me? As he approached my room, my consciousness slipped away. This was the...